12 Living Room Shelving Ideas If you are new to this channel, I previously talked about 12 clever living room furniture ideas and arrangement. It is informative, but I think it would feel more complete with this next presentation. It is 12 ideas on how to optimize the vertical space of your living room. Most of these ideas are DIY friendly and to complete your learning experience, you can always head on to the resources link posted in the description area. As usual, this list is presented for you by SimpHome.com. 12. DIY MCM Wall Mounted Track Shelving This wall mounted track shelves from Rubbermaid are a great way to display some of your favorite items in your living room. You can get four 4 inch twin tracks and 15 11 and a half inch brackets online. Although the cinnamon shelving may not be available, however, you can use any 1 by 12 inch boards and apply the finish you want. It's best to spray paint the tracks with primer first, then color to match your living room. The tracks allow you to easily manage the height, but you can get creative with the bracket placements. You'll also need a stud finder to install them securely to a wall. 11. DIY Modern Wood Mantle A potentially great addition atop a contemporary fireplace is this easy DIY modern wood mantle. Start by cutting three 1 by 8 inch pine pieces to the length you want. They'll form the top, front, and bottom of the mantle. Join them with glue and brad nails. Cut small 5.5 by 7.5 inch ones and attach them flush to the mantle's ends after sanding all the outer surfaces thoroughly. Glue a matching wood veneer on both ends to hide the joints. It's handier and doesn't darken like wood putty and provides a more solid wood appearance. Install two L-shaped mounting brackets made with 2x4s over the fireplace. Ensure they're level before you slide the top of the mantle over them and screw it in place. 10. DIY Crate Shelf Statement Wall At first glance, I admit I was a bit intimidated by this DIY statement wall shelving. That's until I realized it consists entirely of small, creatively arranged crates. First, paint all the crates with dark matte charcoal. Next, spray them with a clear matte protective finish. After waiting for them to dry, start joining them together and secure them to the walls one at a time using screws. For the same layout you see here, you'll need a total of 41 crates. Five are for the feet laid out horizontally. For the shelving, there are 36 crates arranged in an alternating horizontal and vertical pattern. 9. How to Style a Bookshelf Shelves are an essential element of any living room to enhance its design. However, it's crucial to balance the object's colors and their scale to see if they blend well together. That's why books look better when grouped. Always use unique art pieces to elevate your decor and add plants, but don't overdo it. For uneven or recessed walls, try floating shelves. Build 2 by 2 inch frames, the length between two protruding walls, and at the right depth. Add support bracing perpendicular to the back wall. Next cut to 1 quarter inch plywood precisely the same size as the frame. Nail the bottom one first with brads. Then screw the back and sides of the frame to every stud it crosses on the three walls before nailing the top plywood. Adding a select pine strip on the front edge will hide the plywood seams. 8. Bookshelves inside a living room More often than not, bookshelves in a living room hold a variety of stuff other than books. You can also display attractive containers of various shapes and sizes, decor, sentimental items, and even plants along with your book collection. Several homeowners have devised creative ways to integrate them smoothly into the design to enhance the living room further. For example, they can be a part of a home entertainment system surrounding a widescreen TV and house audio-visual components. You can sometimes see them wrapped around the living room's entrance or they can be a backdrop of books behind the main sofa. Large ones can act as dividers or fill a wall that separates the living room from another area. 7. Smart Shelving Tricks That Will Fake a Built-in Library Look for Your Living Room Many homeowners who own an extensive book collection also dream of having a library with built-in shelves in their living room. However, they don't always have the necessary space. If you're one of them, you can fake it to achieve similar results. The trick is in using track shelves. 
For the best library effect, start low with the bottom shelves and go as high as the ceiling. While it might not be the most attractive solution, it won't matter if you fill it with books and other items to hide the tracks. The track shelving system from Rubbermaid is very modular. You can cover any wall space with shelves of different heights. 6. Best Alcove Shelving for Living Room with Light For alcoves beside your fireplace chimney, you can add floating shelves. Then install warm LED lighting strips under each of them for a stunning and cozy effect. First cut half-inch MDF for the shelf's back, sides, top, and bottom panels. Make sure they fit the dimensions of the alcoves and the thickness you want. You'll need about six of them. It's crucial to provide a half-inch bottom extension when cutting the front. That's where you'll place the LED strips so they'll be out of plain sight. The wiring will run along grooves you've chiseled on the walls and corner under the MDF that you'll later fill with putty and paint. 5. Corner Shelves for the Living Room Idea Corners are some of the most neglected areas, especially in a large living room. However, if you have a small one, you can maximize the space with corner shelves. To achieve a cleaner look, try floating corner shelves minus the L brackets or unsightly cleats. They could be L-shaped, round, or diagonal. They are also hanging ones connected with ropes that you attach to the ceiling. For example, you can fashion three L-shaped shelves and put a house plant under them. You can also consider freestanding corner racks or a diagonal corner cabinet with open shelving. They come in a wide variety of shapes, sizes, and styles. 4. DIY Rustic Modern Floating Shelves you can try your hand at building four DIY rustic shelves with a modern touch. Begin by cutting all the 1 by 3 inch pieces of the rectangular frames to the length you like. For four shelves, you need eight long pieces and eight 8 inch ones. Pre-drill all the holes and attach two sides to each back piece with two flathead screws on each joint. For the front, use hex head screws with washers for a more rustic effect. Line the inside frame walls with quarter inch plywood about a quarter inch below the top. Then add two one by two bracing about the same level as the plywood. That way you can insert and glue a quarter inch plywood top flush to the frame. After staining the frames, leave the plywood as is for a two-tone look. Three, accessorize your stairway. That bare side under a staircase in a living room is an excellent candidate for installing floating shelves. It's up to you if they will serve a more decorative or functional purpose. The critical thing to remember is to avoid cluttering these shelves up. Picking a floating shelf design is one way to lessen visual clutter. You won't see brackets or cleats under them, resulting in a cleaner line. Another way to ensure an uncluttered look is to follow a simple color scheme. Decide on a few colors and pick display items from those palettes. Black is always a safe bet and a terrific choice. Maybe add some glass or crystal elements or even metal. You can also include some green to go with a few small plants. 2. Two ideas for that blank wall behind the sofa. Other than the typical painting or wall art, there are more ways to beautify that wall behind your living room sofa. One is with a gallery wall. A set of nine square frames also arranged in a square layout can dramatically enhance your living room's appeal. Black and white photos set inside a white border of identical black frames are effective. You can also try mirrors and artwork, or it can be a collage of various size frames and content. Another idea is to install ledge shelves where you can place your decorative pieces and pictures and even small plants. You can try simple DIY shelves made of a narrow one-inch wood with a backing and a small lip to prevent the items from falling. Before I wrap this list up, thanks for keeping playing this video. If you like what you see, care to support this channel by pressing the subscribe button under the video. It benefits nearly half dozens of people working behind the video. And let's return to our final countdown. Lastly, number one, leaning bookshelf. This design is more for whimsy than anything else, but don't be fooled. This leaning shelf from Urban Outfitters will be excellent for displaying your decor and books. The bookshelf is a decorative piece in itself and has a beautiful natural finish. I can imagine it becoming a conversation piece in any home. It looks like a ladder with shelving instead of rungs. It's almost as convenient as a ladder to lug around anywhere in your living room. 
The top of the side rails have cutouts that allow the bookshelf to lean flush against a wall. Moreover, the feet are also at an angle that's flush to the floor. For even more stability, the backs of all the shelves touch the wall. That means the ones above the lowest shelf get progressively narrower the higher they are. Conclusion While built-in shelves are a terrific way to integrate display storage that blends well with a home's design, it's not a minor upgrade and can be expensive. As you can see, there are several creative alternatives to add shelving to your living room that won't break the bank. It's even better if you have the DIY passion and know how to try them. Go over to simphome.com if you want to learn more ways to improve your living room or any other place in your home. That's it for now. Since you're still watching this video, press that like button, comment on it, or share it with anyone close to you in your favorite social media channel. Browse and follow Simp Home website for more amazing content related to home and decor ideas. And until we meet again later sometime in the future, thanks for watching.